Okay, we're going to do an active time event. The active time events are events that are going on somewhere else in the world. And you have the option of going and seeing them. Uh, sometimes, like if you witness one ATE, you're not going to be able to witness the other one. Other times, they'll just allow you to witness them all. The first one, the Forest Keeper. Well, that can't be good. Okay, we have, um, we've gone and we've landed inside the evil forest, which is, which is beneath the mist line of the planet Gaia. Um, oh, make sure I save. seven minutes I can't be right two hours and three minutes it's definitely not right um, we're gonna get a little bit more into the detail about what the mist is and how it's involved in the world but needless to say that the evil forest the place that we're in is a very dangerous environment at least it's supposed to be now it's not really gonna come across when you're hanging around the wreck of the Prima Vista because a lot of characters seem to want to just hang around outside fall asleep on the ground and stuff. But it's supposed to be very dangerous. Now, it's the first real battle we're getting into in this game. And we're going to get to see... Oh, wow, actually, a surprise attack. Hit it! Okay, never mind. That didn't really come across properly. I'll get into the next battle. I'll show you that one just to show you what I mean. Made it to level deuce. Um, Jordan, hold on. There we go. I like the, uh, oh, here we go. Boss battle time. Fight! Okay, we have Steiner on our team for the first time. Garnet is trapped inside this plant thing, and we have to go fight it. But we have to not hurt Garnet. Could it really be Trance? Okay, Steiner, you can trance too. I don't know why you're acting so surprised. Okay, I can at least point it out in this. V. The game uses the active time battle system that we'd seen in the previous Final Fantasy games, like, um, like 6 and 7 and 8 and all that kind of stuff. But it's. So, this is the first game in a number of the game series which has up to four party members in the group. Okay, we can do stuff like free energy, special trance attacks, but unfortunately that is going to damage Garnet as well as the plant monsters, so we don't want to do that. Attacks all enemies. But anyway, the the game is based around the idea of of um There we go. Around the idea of there being four uh, characters in your party. So, the active time system is based around the idea of there being four members in your party. So, it, everything moves slower. Look how slowly the active time battle gauge charges. Now, that's perfectly fine when you have four party members, but when you only have two, or even three, or just one, the battles can really drag on. 
and you're seeing this now. Now, we have, um... Garnet is being... Her life is being sucked away by this... By this plant monster. When it starts to get low, I have to throw a potion at her. Ah, oh, shit, did you hit her? You idiot. God damn it. Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna do this again. Give it a sec. Okay, we're doing much better here. Just gotta make sure I heal her with the next attack and we'll be okay. The trance ends after, I believe, three... I believe that was three turns. And, um... Yeah, there we go. This should do it. I do like the graphics in this game. I think the artistic style and the per technical proficiency makes the characters really mesh well with the backgrounds. Oh, it got away. Damn. So look at this. I think the characters really do look like they belong in that background environment, unlike in Final Fantasy, say, 7, where they look very different and didn't really belong. Here we go again. Okay, this time Jack is in there. But Jack is a black mage, so he can huh, hurt this thing when he wants. See if I can steal anything. Now Jack is um, Jack. His name isn't Jack. Shit. It's wrong with me. Vivi is his name. <laughs> the hell's Jack? The hell? <laughs> Vivi? <laughs> Vivi is a... Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure what his uh, HP is. Um, so I better heal him now. He is just as vulnerable to the attacks, though. So you're gonna have to go and uh, keep him healed up as well. I'm gonna try and steal what I can. Vivi will deal all the damage I think we really need. We just help him along. I'm gonna try stealing with Zidane the entire time. And... Because I already got a broadsword. It'd be nice if we can get some more stuff. The bosses in this game yield some really nice stuff to steal in the event that you have the patience to try to do that. Hey, VV, you have no face. Come on. Problem is, the stealing is very, um... Chances are you're gonna miss. You're gonna miss a lot over and over and over again. It can drive you nuts. Come on, steal something, or at least end the battle so we don't have to see this anymore. And it's dead. Okay, you don't gain experience points from defeating bosses, but you do gain AP. And uh, I guess maybe in the next episode I'll explain a little bit more about what AP does. That's not good. <laughs>